Hello, my name is David Izumo. I'm a principal engineer in technical marketing with Live Action, and I'm based out of Honolulu, Hawaii. In this video, we'll be talking about SD WAN and LiveNX. First off, LiveNX can help in day zero baselining and planning. It's all about understanding your sites, which ones are the most highly utilized, as well as discovering the applications and baselining its performance. In day one, we're talking about deployment, verifying application routing. Is my traffic being load balanced? Are my critical apps taking the preferred path? Those questions are answered with LiveNX. And then finally, in day two, ongoing operations. It's all about the applications, understanding application bandwidth, performance, especially as a lot of our applications are moving to the cloud in, as SaaS-based applications along with capacity planning. So let's dive into LiveNX, and we'll look specifically at the capabilities for application routing and verifying the performance policies. So here's LiveNX. The deployment is made up of two separate data centers, data center number one, data center number two, as well as three sites down below. They're all interconnected by two service providers, the internet, as well as the MPLS service provider. All of the traffic in this case is being shown and colored by DSCP value. So we can see that EF traffic shown in dark blue for voice, as well as AF21 for critical applications in green, they're all nicely going over the MPLS circuit. Now, to be able to verify application routing, we'll turn to our dashboard. And here we're zooming in on the WAN dashboard. This dashboard could be read like a page in a book, from top down and from left to right. First off, the alerts, the most important item, is at the top. And then we break up the WAN into three dimensions of interest. Sites, applications, and service providers. So to verify the application routing, we're going to be zooming in specifically to alerts by site pair at the top. And notice that from data center number one to site number five, there's a good amount of alerts. So you can double click on this bar and it'll automatically bring up a corresponding report. Now in this case, we see that from site DC1 to site 5, there's a good amount of delay issues that are occurring. Now the next question might be, what applications are being affected? We'll just change the dimensions and we'll zoom in to alerts by application. So in this case, the critical applications as well as voice, well, they're having the problems. Now, let's dive in a little bit further and drill in to this data set. We'll drill down into voice and look at it in another dimension by alerts by service provider. Which service provider might be having the issue? So here we can verify that it's primarily the MPLS service provider that's having that delay issue. Now, this could be during a POC, or it also could be after deployment to verify how the applications are being moved across the network. So notice that around midnight, everything is fine. But just after midnight, we see continuous alerts. So let's go back to the topology to verify these application routes. So at 12.15 in the evening, all that traffic is still nicely going over the MPLS circuit. We'll dive in to a filter specifically for voice from data center number one to site number five. And again, we can see that it's nicely being routed over the MPLS network. But as we recall from that drill down of reports, we notice that a little bit later, perhaps at around 1245 in the evening or early morning, that everything changed. There was a lot of issues. Did SD-WAN identify that problem and reroute the traffic? Yes, it did. There's the voice call nicely going over the internet path. So I hope this brief demonstration helps you see the value LiveNX brings in monitoring and troubleshooting SD-WAN, and in this case, verifying application routing. To try LiveNX for yourself, go to www.liveaction.com download.